Driver!
All right, now we're back. I don't know why this goddamn webcam keeps hogging the mic space, but it keeps happening, and I hate it. I hate this webcam so much. It has it has a microphone. This happened in the online leagues, and it it just keeps stealing the microphone space from literally everything I use. I hate it so much. I genuinely want to get a new webcam just because of how bad it is. I, gen I got this thing for $7 at a freaking Goodwill. This webcam is hogging all the microphone stuff. It is just so terrible. I hate it. But we're back. We're racing. And, um... We're gaming. As, I, as you can see, currently, Packmobile is our championship favorite. He's looking to take second away from the 19 of Vegas. Also, High Plate Singer. Thank you for pointing that out for me. <laughs> Nobody really points out the audio issues because normally I don't care enough to check them because I just want to get this shit over with, you know. But right now, the rest of our championship contenders, there's Gogomobile in 11th. Testo's falling back to 14th. I think he's falling back a little bit more. Still 14th, so now Gogomobile is up to 10th. Oh, the 31 has just blown up. Space Cube with an engine failure right in front of two of our championship contenders. He's going to make it to pit road, but that is a disappointing way to end the season for that field filler as he is going to be done for the day. Also, the bitrate might be a little shit. YouTube keeps warning me about that. I don't know why the bitrate is different. Probably because I rebooted or updated my motherboard. Oh, the 42 with a problem as well. Tram with a fuel leak. It may, may not actually send him to pit road, but that is just a kick in the dick for that 42 team who is really struggling for speed in this race. That's, that, that probably means he's going to spend some extra time on pit road, but that is just horrible timing. But that 31 is definitely done for the day. You can tell that's a colleague racing entry because the engines suck. Let's see if that's actually the case, if that's actually the last car. Yep. 31 is done. Tram likely done for the day if he gets on pit road because he is going to have to take a longer pit stop. Although he really needs a caution right now in order to not fall back as far as he needs to. But green flag pit stops should be around lap 70 or 60. It depends on when they happen. If they, hand, if they happen around lap 60 and we get a caution-free race, which is pretty likely at this track, um, things could go pretty poorly for the guys that are up front, especially the guys that are looking for this championship. But right now, Packmobile is the one in charge, but Gogomobile is looking to take that away. He is slowly but surely catching up to that 21 and putting him behind him, I guess. His, I, that went nowhere. But he's looking to put that 97 behind a championship hope. And he's looking to win it here today. And considering Daisy isn't doing too well, that is your points leader. She had a 33 point advantage over second place, so she is looking to just get away with a sliver of anything that's related to a championship. So, actually, she's way back at 34th now, so she is also struggling with speed, just like the 42. Actually, no, he is off. The tram is on pit road. He is now two laps down. That is definitely going to take him out of contention for a championship for sure. So, unfortunate for that 42 team, who has been great all season, but reliability just failed him when he did not need it most. So... Is truly unfortunate. Also, in the gaming general, Mallow said, I hope Tram blows up lap one. Uh, kinda called it. But that definitely takes Tram out of championship contention for good in this race. Now Packmobile trying to take second away from the 19 of Igus. There's three in this field that are looking to end a long... Actually, four in the top five are looking to end a long winless streak. Hubris, Igus, Meloetta, and Sheepmobile, all won in Season 1, have not won a single race in Season 2. And they're looking to just try and get something to end off the very last race in this series, as it will not continue after today.
Maybe when, after I get saturated with Twitch. Oh, he's taking a run down to the bottom. He's got momentum and he's got speed. He's going to try and take the lead away. He's gonna, almost going to be three wide with Hubris. But he's going to have the advantage going into turn number one. Oh, but he slides up the corner. Almost gets contact from the seven. The seven had to check up and now Hubris has the advantage coming out of turn two. He did not like going into that corner at all. And now that allowed both Sheetmobile and I guess to catch up. But now he has the advantage going into turn three. You wanna go see a movie? Oh, what movie? Because I know there's a few good ones out right now. You know, funny you mentioned movies. Um, after, after when May rolls around, I'm actually gonna try and marathon all the Star Wars movies because that like marathon thing is coming to my local theater, and I'm gonna try and watch all those. That's gonna be fun. I'm excited for that. It's six straight hours of Star Wars on two different days. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, watching the race. I'll post it in the gaming general. Oh, Godzilla? Okay, I'll post it in gaming general who the championship ends up being. Right now, Gogomobile and Packmobile looking like the two favorites to win it here today. I believe Packmobile is in a slightly better position overall. Yeah, he is 30 points to the good over that 13. So if they both have a good finish today, it is going to be very close between those two, considering Daisy has the had the point advantage going into this race she is now 33rd not looking good for that 44 team right now and where is tosto our third championship contender he is riding along in 13th just waiting for those top two to have issues here we go three wide between Gogomobile, Sad Knuckles, and Sheetmobile. He is trying to catch up to these leaders and take away the lead from that 97. But like I said, leading a lap here is extremely important as it allows you to get five bonus points that count towards the end of a race. And Packmobile really needs those bonus points. But now Huber is trying to take the lead away from him here. And also leading the most laps also gets you bonus points. Sheetmobile goes way down the bottom lane, almost gets into the Sprint Cup graphics down at the back on the front stretch. Gets ahead of Meloetta. Mr. Kill is now up here as well in that 21, the Wood Brothers Racing entry. He's looking forward to get a win to end this season. That would make his uh, entry owner very proud, I suppose. Packmobile, though, falling off quite a bit after being stuck in the outside lane. He is just way on the outside now he really needs to get to the inside if he wants to try and get more positions get away from Gogomobile no he just doesn't have the grip he can't clear that 30 of Sheetmobile he's gonna let that 30 get away for now but he's gonna be looking and now he's got clean air to get to the bottom lane and just try and get some draft, but no, the 13 is now stuck on the top lane. He's got Raccoon on his inside. He can't go anywhere with that. And Tosto's still hanging back in 13th. There's the 71 and the 66. We're both up front in this race, battling it out for 11th place. Daisy's still struggling in 32nd, currently the lowest running a uh, contender right now. Tram is still on pit road. Fixing that oil leak. Mr. Kill is taking the lead away, but will he get it this lap? I think he did. By a fraction of a second over Sheepmobile. He leads a lap in this race. Here comes the 30 trying to make a move. He washes up in the corner. Now Sad Knuckles is trying to take the lead away. And Pal Packmobile is on the bottom as well trying to get some spots and take the lead once again. He is hustling. And I respect the hustle. It's a good side job. <laughs> We're almost just about halfway done with this race. Green so far throughout this entire thing, but pit stops should be approaching very soon. Although the tire fall off doesn't actually seem to be that bad. Like, look at Mr. Kill's previous lap time. 
His lap time was only five tenths off of his fastest lap, which was definitely done at the start of the race. So the tires don't even seem to be falling off that bad, which is pretty characteristic for Homestead Miami Speedway. So it makes sense. Currently our fastest keeper of the race is the seven of Meloetta, followed by Sisyphus, Hubris, I forget who the 23 is off the top of my head, and the 66 of Premier Nation. They are doing very well right now. The 23 is Dragonite, who's having a pretty fast race. But where is he in position? Not too good. Not too good, I should say. Oh, Mr. Kill's coming to Pit Road, our first takers in the green flag pit stops. And if this race goes green, we could have a fuel mileage finish, but here they come. Down to serve the first pit stops of the day, and the first championship contender to come down is the 13 of Gogolmobile. As nobody else in the championship hunt came down this time. Looks like Hubris is going to come way down the track. Taking tires and fuel only right side, so they're taking as much fuel as they can, but they're only taking right side tires, so yeah, the fall off here is definitely not as big as I anticipated it to be. Probably because it's a night race, but who knows. The grip is going to increase by later in the race. A lot of other drivers coming down pit road this time by. Not, or Tram is still on pit road after his issue. Um, doo -doo -doo, nobody else really. Oh, there's some grass. Some must have gotten to the grass coming to pit road. Here comes Pagmobile down pit road. He's going to be pitting late compared to everyone else. Also, hi, Mellow. Welcome to the race. Toso is coming in now. Very important pit stop for him, as it'll probably be the one of two pit stops in this race. Goob is in, Daisy is in, hopefully she can get some good adjustments and get back up front. But these pit stops are going to be extremely important for these race leaders, especially the guys that are in the hunt. Looks like Pac-Mobile is going to get out, oh, a little bit slow on the right side tires, he's going to get out behind Meloetta, that is not good for him at all. And this pit road is very wide, so it's easier for him to get out of there. Looks like Sad Knuckles is going to inherit the lead after everyone gets out of Pit Road. Which is a di very much a surprise. He probably had a very good, easy time on Pit Road. Meloetta's got to be careful when re-entering the track. She does not want to do what Shadow did at Michigan last season. No issues on Pit Road either, so it looks like they all made it out of there quick. So, looks like Meloetta's going to rejoin the track in third. But she's on colder tires, and everyone else is on warmer tires than she is, so they're going to have a much bigger time, or a much easier time, to catch up to her and pass her, especially at the 21 right here and be getting a good run. Looks like Icus is going to come out fifth. Actually, where is Hubris? Oh, they, they're just coming out of pay road now, so Sheetmobile and Hubris are just going to come out of pay road. And rejoin the track. The very last cube to get off of Pit Road was the 95 of Lightning McQueen. And looks like things have finally gotten back to where they were. And now Stab Knuckles will be the leader. Whimsicott under fire for second from the 21 of Mr. Kill. Meloet is on fourth. I guess fifth. Sheetmobile sixth. Seventh is Grim New Nation. Eighth is Packmobile. Ninth is Hubris. And tenth is Raccoon. Now under fire from the 13 of Gogomobile, who is. Still hunting down Pac-Mobile for position. Crush Cube is now up to 14th. Tosa is still in 15th. Not too many. Actually, Heihachi had a really good pit stop. He's all the way up to 21st. After being way in the back, he has gained a ton of position since the start of the race. And he is hunting down more spots as we speak. And where's Daisy? Ooh, still struggling for position. She is three wide right now with Among Us and Goob. Goob getting real close to that wall everyone's been hitting in this race so far, but Daisy really struggling for speed in this race. She really needs to try and pass more people, or she needs a caution in order to get back to where she was earlier. Tram's still stuck on pit road. He might actually have a bugged pit stall, which is just the most unfortunate thing to happen in this game, that's for sure. Right now, all eyes are between the 97 and the 13. These are the two highest 
running cubes that are eligible for the title right now. And they are anxiously looking to try and get that chase for the cup here tonight. Packmobile is the only one of the four to lead laps in today's race. So he is obviously the highest beneficiary of the points right now. But he just needs to be more spots ahead of the 13 in order to clinch it here today. Yeah, he really did jinx Tram. He is just dead on pit road. He is uh, 24 laps down and might not even be his fault because let's go back to where he is right now. Take a better look at it. If we can get a better look at it. See, his pit stall sign is not down. So whenever he respawned on pit road, the game did not see that he was in his stall. So his pit stall is basically bugged. So he can't pit, and the game will not allow him to pit. This happened to Igus at New Hampshire last season, and that basically ended her chances to win the race. As she was doing pretty good that whole race, so just unfortunate for our championship contender. But there's the the speed channel section of explaining how bugged pit stops work, so or bug pit stalls, I mean. But Sad Knuckles has really run away with the lead, but we've seen at this track that running away with the lead is not an option. It's very easy to lose that lead as Whimsicott got a huge run in turn one. He's looking to take that lead away from the 82. But he's under fire from a lot of contenders right now. And everyone else just kind of in their own zone, running alone, except for Tosto, who's now being passed by Crush Cube, I believe. Yes, he is. That Hendrick Motorsports 24 has passed the RFK 17, not associated with the guy, the team RFK Racing. He has passed Tosto for position, burning his chances to win the championship even more. Our Talladega winner. Meanwhile, Sheepmobile way on the bottom lane, trying to take away third. But the thing is, since they pitted so early, I genuinely think they might try to stretch it to the end on fuel if we don't get any cautions towards the end of this race. Because if we get a caution, that changes pretty much everything. So they're looking forward to make it to the end with a clean race. And they really need to bank it, bank on that happening. Apparently it's where neither here Iowa today. Wild. So the reason why uh, this stream was about an hour later. Oh, the 60 with a problem. That is Le Cube de Baguette. He's got a suspension problem. Doesn't really seem to be hurting him all too much. He might just come to pit road this time by no. So he's definitely got an issue under the hood with the suspension. But the main reason why I uh, the stream is a much later than I thought it was going to be is that I was commentating a baseball game today, part of my job, and um, it got rain delayed because of lightning, and we waited like an hour until that got done, and basically after like an hour of waiting, an hour of me just trying to desperately DJ the rest of the game, uh, the game got called and the other team forfeited. So th thankfully the home team won, but th it got crazy out there. Thankfully I managed to get home, and this is probably the latest stream I've ever done, let's be real. But now a battle for the lead between Whimsicott and Sad Knuckles, two that have not won a race this season, and one that has been basically turned into a field killer for reasons. Obvious reasons if you've seen the person that submitted it. But Packmobile under fire from the 07 of Hubris. That is not what he wants to see right now. Even though the 13 is losing losing touch with the leaders right now, Packmobile losing a spot is definitely not what he needs in order to secure this bag, as they say. Let's check on that 44 of Daisy. Let's see how she's doing. 
Ooh, 35th. Still struggling with speed in that cube. But this lead pack is still crazy. I wouldn't call myself a pro, but good enough is what I'd say. I still need a little bit more experience with that. Mumsakai's doing a pretty good job holding off fellow CGB member Sheepmobile. But I mean that quite literally. Both of them are two of the members of CGB, but the two of the big HRs. And here comes the 19 of I guess another CGB member myself. Almost gets it to the back of the 30 going into turn 4. Trying to get that lead back away and it looks like Grimnir Nation, the 66, had some good adjustments on pit road. He's back up here along with Meloetta and Mr. Kill. Looks like the rest of the field behind them are starting to catch up along with Raccoon as well. So... But this is not what that 13 needs to see, is people behind him catching up to him at a very fast rate. Gentle Cat really needs to stay ahead of the 06 of Hedrick, stay ahead of the Golgomobile right now. Looks like Crush Cube, Haruhi also in the mix. Pulse Sitter Shadow is falling back a little bit. He's lost a spot with Tosto. I definitely thought Shadow would be doing better in this race. Oh my god, look at this. But uh, unfortunately, he's lost a lot of positions, so now Wimsicott has a pretty decent lead ahead of Mr. Kill. But as this race winds down, as it's gone, a lot, gone by a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, oh wow, Hubris getting shoving the 66 out of the way. But as this race has gone by, it's gone by a lot faster than I thought it would, considering we had a, a few cautions last time we had this race here at Homestead Miami Speedway. And, uh oh. 19 of... T I guess it's a tire problem. Problems for someone who is so good in this race. Oh, she's stuck on the track. Oh, that's not good. That's probably going to be a yellow. Oh, my God. That is the worst possible spot to stop on the track. And the caution is out. That is not what Pacmobile needed, and that is exactly what Gogomobile needed to catch back up to these leaders. So problems for the 19, who is running so well, leading some laps, and then just has a tire go down, and just kind of stops in the middle of the track? That is not ideal. But now that the caution is out, what will these guys do? Because they still have to take left side tires, even though the... Oh my god, what are they doing? The falloff is not that crazy. Oh, what the hell is happening here? So it looks like they're all coming down pit road. We're all trying to come down pit road. So that's the that's the thing I that's the strategy I would take with this. I would come down pit road in this situation if I were there. TBH. But these pit stops are going to be extremely important to the rest of this race if we have no more cautions. Let's watch how Pacmobile does on his pit stop here. Let's go on board actually. With everyone else going by him. Actually, it's not going on board. That's a pretty bad shot. We'll just go into spectator cam. Very close between Dragonite and Meloetta there. Almost makes it. Oh, he does make contact with U-Haul. I don't think that's going to be too much damage, though. But lots of contact. I believe the 66, the 66 also got some damage as well. Yeah, this is a fresh hour traffic jam. Man, what the hell going on in Atlanta? I believe the 97 beat the 45 to the line there. But that damage was very minor to the Pacmobile, but if that hurts his speed, that could be very bad for his chances to win the title. But Hubris is now leading after the set of pit stops. Meloetta now third, Pacmobile fourth. Fifth is Raccoon, sixth is Sad Knuckles, seventh is Hedgerton, eighth is Golgomobile, ninth is Sheepmobile, and tenth is Grimnir Nation. Now Toso gained three spots. He's up to 11th. Shadow gained some spots as well. And Whimsicott fell very far back after those pit stops. He's he's all the way back to... Well, even though he's right out of the top 20. And Daisy still not doing too hot. But she is looking to try and rebound after what happened there. I guess still on pit road trying to get those problems fixed with that 19 machine. 
Definitely not the way you want to end the season. Now she is getting off of pit road, but unfortunately she will be a lap down. Or not. Actually, she did beat the pace car, so she will stay on the lead lap. Or wait, no. Never mind. She's going to be one lap down still. But if a caution comes out again and she's ahead of Hubris, then she will get her lap back. But unfortunate for that 19, who could have had a lot more damage if things went way more south for her. It just needs a little bit. They're not as yellow as I thought they would be. But now it's all coming down to these last few laps. They can all make it on fuel now, I think. Oh, they only took a splash. Ooh, we're seeing some strategy here. The double zero of Goobs took half a can of fuel. Some of them took a splash of fuel. Ooh, fuel strategy being put into play. I think they can all make it in on fuel. But they took right side tires again. So I guess left side tires are just not wearing at all in this race, which kind of makes sense considering their lap times towards the end of that run before the first pit stops. But if the tires are not falling off as hard as I thought they were, then we could see some pit stop pit stop shenanigans towards the end of this race. But things are starting to get really dicey really fast towards the end of this. One to go this time by. Only one car on the lead lap or not on the lead lap, that'll be lining up with the leaders. That is the 19. The Hubris winning a race. Oh, hi, Goofy. I didn't know you were... I didn't know you saw this. Welcome to, uh... The end of... A the end of Evangelion, basically. A.K.A. what could have been for S DCS Season 3, but... That never came to happen, and this is also ending as well, so. Actually, no. I shouldn't tab out. Ugh, I want the game to crash. Coming back to the restart this time by. Oh my god, I just realized the. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a very major problem here. The Nauto is frozen. Why are you frozen? There we go. You have been, you have been freed, and now you're back under the green flag. Here at Homestead Miami Speedway. I don't know. I don't know why that was frozen, but we're now back to racing once again. It's the 19s trying to desperately stay on the lead lap, trying to hope for a caution, at least try and get her lead lap position back and make her way back up to the field. But it looks like Mr. Kill's going to take the lead away from the U7 here. There you get a good look of, of three of our championship contenders actually looking to get up front. There's Tosto in the 17. Came second in points into this race. He is now up to 10th. However, under fire from a lot of different people. He is just holding up the rest of the field. Basically, oh my god, had a really close interaction with Shadow there. And he is just having a lot of trouble sticking with the grip. Actually, basically everyone that's in the championship hunt right now is in the top lane. That is not ideal, especially on a track like this. Especially on a restart like this. Now Pagleville just has to stay ahead of Hedgerton. The 06 is not going to let that happen. But he is going to dive there. Very, very close between the 66 and the 06. But he's going to get to the bottom lane. And I guess still holding off the lead position, not the lead position, lead lap position, ahead of Meloetta and Hubris. 
She just needs a caution to come out so she can get that lead lap position back. And right now, well, considering the way they're racing, it could happen. Let's take a dive in Aquatic Mine, as I was about to say, as Hedgerton almost just wrecked the 97 going into turn number one. That sounded very silly the way I worded that, but Jesus. That 06 is out for blood in today's race, and he almost just wrecked one of our championship contenders. That is wild how that just happened. But he has lost a bunch of momentum now. But now Tosto is still stuck on the outside lane. And now Gogomobile's on the bottom, but he's in 18. Tosto's in 16. So right now, Packmobile is currently the championship favorite. But he's having trouble getting past Shadow. Now Sheetmobile is not going to get around him in that 30. Yeah, that was pretty fucking crazy. To see the 97 almost just get jumped like that by someone who's not even fighting for a championship. I bet he's not happy about that on the radio. He seems to be struggling with speed on the short runs. But the long runs is where he seems to excel, especially with these tires. So he's going to need the grip to increase a little bit on these longer runs. So he can get back up there and get as many points as he can towards the end of this race. He goes way down the bottom to block the 89 of Whimsicott. Ooh, it's not going to be enough. He cannot stay on that bottommost lane. He has to go to the top, and that 89 is going to get a run, but it's not going to be enough. He has to take a dive in Aquatic Mine once again. He can't do it. He's got no grip. He is. He's definitely got a long run setup right now, and he really needs this rest of the race to be green so he can take advantage of that long run setup. Meanwhile, behind him, he's got 70 Cider, Klonoa, and Gentle Cat, all number sevens. Maybe three sevens will not be as lucky for him today as he is mired of heavy traffic right now, still struggling with grip. He really needs to pick up the pace if he wants to battle for this championship as he has fallen out of the top 10 completely. But the 66 now is going to hold the lead ahead of everyone else. Just by a fraction. Although Hedgerton's now up to second. What a move by the 06. If that team could win here today, that would be a great achievement for that team owner, Comalos, who really needs a win for that team after all that's happened to that 06 this season after just barely missing out on a victory at Auto Club and technically at Michigan as well. And now he's going for the lead. The 06 of Hedgerton dives down to the inside. side by side with the 66 now still not gonna get it Premier Nation clears him again here comes its vending series champion raccoon trying to win a race in the final series of this season both team mobile and Hubris getting pretty close to the wall right there and look at this both Tosto and Gogmobile have passed Packmobile for position hey Hachi almost got into the back of him and he is losing spots fast Maybe he got more damage on pit road than we expected. Here comes Daisy in the 44, making up some spots as well. And she could be the points leader once again because she is right behind everyone else, relatively in position. So this championship race may end up being a lot closer than I thought it would be. But that, 30, that 44 is gaining fast. She's at the 24th. Now trying to pass the 97 and the 13 for position. But now Tozdo is up to the top way up top and three wide. He's way up on the wall, getting forced up by the 22 of Traffic Cone. All of them, except for Daisy, are on the outside lane. That is not ideal for those teams right now. They really need to be fighting to get to the bottom, but they just can't get there. 
And now Pac-Mobile and Gogglemobile will be in clean air, but Daisy slows up in the corner right in front of Spark it Up, and now she's gonna go to the top lane. Now everyone is on the top lane. And that's gonna be huge. But now can Daisy get to the bottom right in front of the 98? Same way they fought each other back at Rockingham. Getting some draft off of the 08 of Sisyphus now. As I believe Hedgerton has taken the lead. As it says so on my ticker, but it's three wide though between Daisy Heihachi and Spark It Up. She really needs to get out ahead of everyone else right now. As Heihachi loses a bunch of momentum on the top lane. Now both Gogomobile and Pacmobile have regained their composure, but how much will they be able to gain after losing so much, after losing so many positions? Oh, Mr. Kill almost gets into the 30, shoves him up the track. That's not going to be very nice between those two, especially in post-race. But now I guess has been lapped once again by Hedgerton. She's now one lap down. And everyone else behind the 06 is trying to fight for positions with less than 30 laps to go in this race here at Homestead. Daisy gets into the 08 right there. Little contact between the 08 of Sissy Fist and the 44. Almost sends up at the track. Actually, she lost more control than the 08 did there. He held his ground. That's definitely not ideal, as she needs to catch up with Tosto here if she wants to have a chance at securing the bag and the chase for the cup. Tosto may not too may not be too far out front, but he's definitely is he faster? He is a little bit faster, so he is definitely in traffic though. But Daisy is catching up to him at a pretty decent rate, as they're all basically outside of the top 15 right now. A lot of them are having struggles with grip now because they haven't changed left side tires yet. So that may be a recipe for a future caution if these guys are continuing to have issues with their grip. Oh, Whimsicott slides way up the track right besides the 19. But yeah, they are really getting slidey in turn number one because they just have refused to change their left side tires. Their corner entries are much worse now. If they can make it to the end on these left side tires, I'd be genuinely shocked. Oh, but Cold Steel's gonna slow up right in front of the 44. Pushes her down to the bottom. She needs to block the 22. And it's not gonna be three wide. Yes, it is. Daisy now stuck in the middle between these two. Cold Steel's gonna back out a little bit. This is not ideal for that 44. She's going to have the advantage from the middle line. She's going to dive down and try and make a move on Klonoa for position. As Tosto, just barely ahead, he is currently the leader in terms of positions of our championship contenders. While everyone else behind him, although Pacmobile has probably faded the most out of these few, although the 97 is the only one of these few to lead a lap, so he's got a somewhat of an advantage but this is not what he needs right now considering Daisy had the points lead going into this race and now Tosto is on the top lane but now the 13 of Golgomobile isn't and now he has a chance to potentially get ahead of both of these two in these closing laps but right now I think Daisy is the favorite right now going into this championship and after I get done I will put the championship results on screen because it's recording my desktop window. I'll just be doing them on stream while I, after the race is finished, considering how close it is right now between these few. Last season it wasn't as close, but actually no, it was equally as close. But it was decided much earlier than I thought it would be. This time, well, who knows? But these three 
are all within each other. Daisy's in huge traffic right now. Potentially could be passed by the 97. It's not what she needs right now. And now Gogomobile could pass the 17 of Toso for position. needs to find some time to get to the bottom lane. Now Heihachi pushes Packmobile up the track. Gonna make him lose a spot. As he seems to be struggling with grip too, the 34 is. I'll tell you one that's been making up a lot of spots to start this race is the 55 of Haruhi. She's at the 6th. Now to 5th, I believe, if she gets past the 66. And Hedgerton is running away with the lead, but Meloetta can still run him down. Stephanie Sider in the top 10. I believe it'll be his first top 10 finish this season if he manages to stay up here. But Shadow's really trying to run him down and push him out of that position. Now Daisy's on the bottom lane, but she still has to navigate past Goob and U-Haul in the 26. Let's see if she can manage to do that here. He needs closing laps. But now that everyone is back on the inside lane again, that means these two are essentially fighting for the top spot in points. Or the most amount of points right now. Daisy under fire from Heihachi. Heihachi's been really good at getting to the bottom lane and passing people in this race. He's still not doing too great in positions, but Daisy had a great run out of turn number four. Let's see if she can actually get past Tosto here, who has been forced up to the top by Goob. Hubris has moved up to the second place position. Meloetta falls to third, Whimsicott back and forth. Haruhi is now in the top five. And our fastest is still the 07. And actually, no, new fastest lap by Hubris. The only cube this race to run a sub 29 second lap time. Which is pretty impressive at a track like this. But that 55 is cooking right now in terms of speed. She just needs to pass a lap car and oh, three more to get to the front, but with the laps winding down, I think that might be possible. Toso's now fallen back to fourth in terms of the active running cubes. Now Gogomobile's out front in terms of points, but now Daisy's trying to get a better run, but she needs to pass U-Haul, and she's still under fire from Heihachi. Packmobile is gaining some spots as well. So this championship battle is still pretty much undecided between these few, these jolly fellows. And now Daisy passing Gogomobile for the point. Side by side across the start finish line. U-Haul still holding her off, but that 13 is on the non-preferred line. He has less grip up there. Well, right now it seems like nobody has any grip right now. Hadrington has pulled out to a second Lead second, one second lead ahead of Hubris. Oh, and now Daisy gets forced up a track by Heihachi. Now Gogomobile is going to get to her inside. And how many cars back is that inside line? Oh, it's a lot of them. So she's going to need to find a way to that bottom lane fast. And she could probably get it right here if she dives down on the bottom. And she will. Oh, wow. Gogomobile almost got right hooked by Cold Steel into the wall. You saw a little bit of contact right there, but they both managed to keep it together. Oh, wow. Go Gogomobile almost left hooked the 44 of Daisy. Almost got Dale Earnhardt into the wall. That would have been really bad for him and the 44. 
We're now coming down to 10 laps to go in the season. Which was originally slated to be 20 races, but I had to cut it down for uh, time constraints. And I just take this... Oh, wow. Three wide between three of our win contenders, basically. Ruhi has fallen back quite a bit since we last checked in on her. Shadow is now gaining some positions. He's back up to fifth. He's our pole sitter, might I add. But Hedgerton is still far and away the best cube on track right now. But Hubris is faster than him. Even though she didn't gain any time, she is still faster than him that lap. And so is Igus and, well, 70 Sider, maybe not as much, but Grimnir Nation is still pretty fast. But the 06 just needs to hold them off for just a little bit longer in order to claim his first win of the season, which is very well needed for that team. Last season, Doge went on, went on to win the Field Fillers Championship, won the race and won the championship, but now it's not looking like the champion will win the race as they're all mired back in the mid-pack after some... What the fuck is that? Okay, there's a weird bit of shit on the keyboard. Uh, 74 of Colsia with a tire problem. He's going to have to come down pit road. Looks like he did not take anyone out coming to in the process, so he is going to come down and get those tire servants. But Hubris is catching the 06 for the lead with less than 10 laps to go here at Homestead Miami Speedway. It doesn't get any better than this. As you can see, Cold Steel coming down pit road just now. Catching up to that 06 very quickly. Both of these two need a win in order to close off their season so desperately. And now it's a, almost a three-way battle for the top spot in positions for these championship contenders as Tosto has actually fallen back quite a bit. He's fallen way, way back to 33rd. He must have hit the wall or something, because he's now stuck back with Galaga. Or maybe his tires are really hurting him now, because he's not changed his left side tires once. I mean, if a caution happens this la this late, Mallow, it may end under the yellow flag. There's no, like, overtime rule in this game, because this game's, like, 20 years old, so overtime rules did not exist. Actually, now that I think about it, this game is legally old enough to drink. God, that's so weird to think about. If it were a enti living entity, of course. But if the caution were to come out, we might get a green white checkered finish. I'm not sure, but not looking like we'll get a caution knock on wood, even though I have no wood around me in my general vicinity, so maybe I might have jinxed it, but who knows. But Hubris is catching up to Hedgerton for that lead lap for that leading position. Both these two desperately need to get to victory lane this season. Hubris lost a lot of momentum in that corner, getting pretty wide. They are both really struggling with tires right now, but Hubris got a huge run out of turn number two. Dives to the inside, trying to take a run for the lead. Down the inside, she can't get it just yet. But she is there. She is looking to try and take the lead away from Comalosa's 06 cube. Pretty much a late season surge for that team, the 07, who had a pretty dismal start to the season, I should say, after getting her ratings tweaked. Shadow has fallen out of the top 10. And now Daisy is ahead of Packmobile in position. That means that she will most likely win the championship if the race ended right now, but these three are still going at it for position right now. Now she's trying to get around air traffic cone for a spot. But I believe she was 30 points ahead of everyone else before this race started. She would win the championship by default. So... If I... 
say it that way, that it might happen. I don't know. It's very likely that the 44 will win it, but she is under some heavy competition right now from both the 97 and the 79. The inverted numbers trying to mess her up. Packmobile on the outside lane trying to make something work. Almost goes three wide with Klonoa and Daisy, but that's not going to work out. Klonoa is now going to push Daisy up to a position. You could say that's a Team CGB member helping a Team CGB member win the championship, but now Klonoa is going to fight for that position on the inside, forces Daisy up the track, and here comes the 13. Although Gogomobile was, Gogomobile was 80 points back at the start of this race, getting ahead of Daisy is important if he has enough points to get by her, but I don't think that's going to happen. She rides the outside line <laughs> and is trying to stay ahead of that 13. She actually had a pretty good run out of turn number two, but we're coming down to the white flag this time by as the 60 comes down pit red for a splash of fuel. Oh, but get coming down for fuel. White flag this time by last lap for Hedrington and last lap for the 44 of Daisy. Gogomobile has passed her, but I believe that's only for three points. Checkered flag is in the air. Hedgerton is the winner. He wins it for Comalos and that team. And coming out of turn number four for the final time. And it looks like Daisy's going to be your season two champion in the final race of this league. What a drive for that team towards the end of this season to put on two race wins at Rockingham and at Kentucky. Actually, it was at Michigan, I believe, now that I think about it. But what a drive for this team late in the season to win the championship. I still have to verify if that is entirely true, but I believe that would be the case. So I got, we'll actually be doing that live on stream, unlike last time where that did not happen on stream. So we're just going to have to see it's this one, I think. Yes, it is. R16, there we go. Session is complete. Just going to double check and make sure I did that at the right time. Always want to double check with this stuff. Sometimes it just does not work. So Hedgerton gets his first career win in the last career race, and now we are going to do it live. We're going to see who wins the championship. And we're going to do it with the old points format, which I believe is how I've been doing it. We're going to put it on screen right here. And this is how I do it. All right, so... Oh, hold on. Um, I might need to do this on another tab. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had to do it on another tab. But, um, let's see. But that's what the page looks like. Well, I can confirm it is official. Daisy is your champion by 56 points. Over the 97 of Packmobile, who finishes second. Tosta finishes third. Gogomobile finishes fourth. Tram actually falls three points in standings. He falls to eighth. Meloetta gets fifth. And actually, we're going to do something a little different on this stream. We are going to lively... Or not very really lively, but we are going to go live. We're going to go to a testing section. Actually, we're going to go to player info. We're going to go to the 44. Wherever the hell I put Daisy. Look at all these entries from past seasons. Where is Daisy? There she is. Okay. So we're going to set that as a single player car. Actually, hold on. I'm going to restart my game real quick. So I can get my uh, controller set up. So I can get this done. Or I guess get a screenshot. Let me find my freaking 8 bit do controller. But I'll post the results after I get done taking the screenshot. So I'm going to restart my game real quick. And 
Now let me put the window back where it's supposed to be. Testing session. And not Texas. Let me switch back to NR. We're going to go to Homestead Night. We're going to open up here. And we're going to go to free camera, open up free cam, and we're going to go here. We're going to spawn in as a daisy. I'm going to do some burnouts for the celebratory picture. POV, you are daisy. I think that's enough burnouts. <laughs> that's enough uh, footage for free cam. So, actually, the way to get into free cam in this game is you need to go to your pit lane camera. Actually, wrong button. We need to go to your pit lane camera, press control E. Look at that, we got free camera movement right here. All right, we're going to go back to the start finish line where we started doing burnouts. Just go to press control Q to lock it. We're gonna rewind the replay. Just gonna fast forward it a little bit more. Right about there, that's good enough. So we're gonna get a better look at this right here. Yeah, tear it up, Daisy. Fuck it up, Queen. We're gonna take a screenshot. Should press Control Q again, and that'll save it to NR. And there we go. There's your season two champion of the final season of this series. And how about that? What a win for that team. But thank you all for tuning in here today for this final race of the season. And hopefully uh, things go good whenever I switch over to Twitch pretty soon. But thank you all for watching my final YouTube stream. And good night.